California's land is as diverse and varied as the people who call this great state home. From the rough terrain of the Sierra Nevada to the fertile farmland of the Central Valley and everywhere in between, farmers and ranchers all across the state take care of the most precious commodity the state has to offer. Picture postcard perfect land. And for this year's Leopold Conservation Award finalists, their responsibility to the land they call home isn't just a job, it's a way of life. Steve and Jill Hackett of Howe Creek Ranch have taken a proactive approach to integrating ecological sustainability into their 4,000 acres of forests and cattle pasture. For them, it is the latest effort to keep the ranch thriving on land that the family has ranched and produced forest products on for more than 95 years. Well, you know, I, I, I went away to college and uh, um, I really didn't realize what, what's here until I went away. I took a lot for I took it all for granted when I was growing up. Today, thanks to Steve's return to the land, the Hackett's Ranch thrives with cattle, sheep, and goats all intermingling on land that is as dear to them as their family's ancestry. Their forestry practices cemented by a conservation easement create corridors of mature forest and healthy watersheds that support several wildlife species, including Jill's favorite, spawning salmon. November, December, if we get a good storm, we will have salmon come up and spawn in our creeks. Um, and then also in addition to that, in February, March, the steelhead come in. Sustainable conservation involves those in agriculture finding practical ways to protect air, water, and land, and all three of which thrive on Al Montna's 2,500-acre farm in Sutter County. You name it, and he's done it for the environment. He recently installed a solar power system to power his rice dryer. He has led the way in replacing the practice of burning rice stubble with environmentally safe alternatives, and he has created an extensive habitat for wildlife we look at it as just part of your your cultural practices this property is producing something um, virtually 12 months a year it's agricultural based that's what pays for all of this without the agriculture none of this has happened Montana's commitment to the land that has given him so much over the years knows no bounds. Because of his efforts, he estimates he has cut the amount of water he uses in half. And though it may cost him more financially, Montana is rich with the knowledge he is helping out his winged friends. He was one of the first to take up the cause of flooding rice fields rather than burning them, which has numerous benefits on air quality, as well as providing a much needed habitat for birds two or three hundred thousand acres of temporary wetlands for that great resource, Pacific Flyway. And if you talk to any biologist without the rice industry in this valley, you have no Pacific Flyway. It's the major food source for millions of waterfowl. Providing nourishment, habitat, and beauty for humans and animals alike, Chet Vogt does it all on his 5,300-acre ranch in Glen County. And that's why the California Farm Bureau Federation, in partnership with the Sand County Foundation and Sustainable Conservation, are pleased to recognize this year's Leopold Conservation Award winner is Chet Vogt. You gotta believe, this is my passion out here. This is why I do what I do. Just to be able to look out here and see the results of our time and our, our management and the, the beauty of the place out here makes it all worthwhile. The land he now calls home is more than he ever could have imagined when he bought the property nearly 16 years ago. He was able to see past the barren, desert-like state the ranch was in then and develop it into something that is alive with wildlife today. This environmental showcase is home to more than 500 beef kettle that are actually a help, not a hindrance to the area, thanks to a systematic approach to grazing that Chet developed and has successfully implemented at his ranch in recent years. Uh, if, if, if I were to measure failures and successes, the failures would have a lot more marks in the box than, than the successes. We've had a lot of successes, but, but pioneering so many of these management practices out here has led to a huge number of failures also. So, and there is no book written on what we're doing out here. We're, we're writing the book. Please welcome this year's Leopold Conservation winner, Chet Vogt.